right, let's see if I can do this this time without screwing it up. This is brand new right here, what they just built. This is right in downtown Worcester. They added all these lights, little tables, patios. This is pretty cool. Um, I like it. I'm just hoping that uh, people don't ruin it. <clears throat> Celebrating is uh, celebrating two years old. He's got like a little battery-powered Lamborghini. I always wanted a Power Wheel when I was younger. Never got one. I think that's really where my obsession with battery-powered little personal electric vehicles comes from. And for those of you who don't know much about Worcester, well. It's only the second largest city in all of New England. Only Boston is bigger. We've got over 200,000 people. Last 10 years it has grown quite a bit. We even took the professional baseball team from Rhode Island. a mall here right here right where I'm wheeling they knocked it down got a lot of criticism because they said it divided downtown I do miss that mall I liked it I liked it a lot this is nice though I'm not complaining got a bunch of new restaurants that I haven't even been to yet I eat pretty cheap though when I eat by myself. Let's go take a look at all these brand new restaurants. Chris's Steak, well, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. The Mercantile, Fuel America. brand new. That's all new right over there. Used to be called the Centrum Center over here. Now it's the DCU Center. Used to be orange. Now it's white. What a touch of green. The PEB community here in Worcester is really not. How would I say? It's not popping like it is in smaller cities like Providence or Springfield or even Hartford. I'm talking uh, in comparison to other New England cities. Obviously, there's a pretty vibrant community in Boston, but I'm trying to grow the community here in Worcester. Uh, a lot of times, I feel like a lone wolf here. 
there are other riders, but they're very shy and they like to ride solo. I think it's a Worcester thing maybe, but me, I prefer to ride with people. It's a lot more fun. Cigar bar right up that street. Yellow smiley face over there. By the way, the yellow smiley face was invented here in Worcester by Harvey Ball many years ago. I'm going to give you guys some shots from another angle. This M10-3 is actually very quick for its little size. I've hit 23 miles an hour in this thing. It's crazy riding this thing compared to the Inmotion V5F, which is the wheel I learned on. We got a little arcade there. Apparently it's very 80s themed. Still have yet to go, but I will go one day. Uh, yeah, so Inmotion V5F just feels very, very stable. Unfortunately, I suffered my very first cutout on this very same wheel, the M10-3. Everything you can do wrong, I did wrong. Uh, I was hitting its maximum speed and I only had about 35% battery. It was pretty cold outside. I couldn't hear the beeps because it was attached to my phone, which by the way, my phone wasn't on my person. I had propped it up far away. So by the time I did start hearing the beeps, I cut out. Rider fault. Had nothing to, the wheel was not at fault. Totally my fault. I love this little wheel. It's a lot of fun. It's a little pocket rocket. This wheel can get me uh, to my grandmother's house and back. Each way is about five miles, I think. You know, I haven't done a range test on this thing. I should, though. I think that would make for a great video. Yeah, no. People act weird sometimes. Most people are very nice when they see you. They think it's neat. But then you have a couple of weirdos. Who they, they just, they can't see anyone having any fun so it pisses them off when they see you having a good time if you got a smile on your face they just can't handle it I'm riding into the wind it's getting pretty windy so let's go up this hill see the climbing ability of this m10 3 gotway I'll never call it a bagode this is a gotway wheel Worcester is a very historical city. Um, I believe the first place they read the Declaration of Independence out loud in public was here in Worcester. The birth of the women's rights movement started here. What else? We got a lot of firsts. We invented the uh, monkey wrench. We use a monkey wrench to thank Worcester. By the way, like I said earlier, uh, the yellow smiley face was invented here, so. Next time you use an emoji, just know that it comes all the way from here. Look at that building over there, 31 Hobbit Street. It's a nice looking building, very nice. 
So as you can tell, that M this M10-3 climbed that hill no problem. All right, let me give you some other shots. I really feel this wheel has improved my... I'm sorry, I think I got like a... This is why I wear glasses. I got to get some clear glasses. I, I do have some glasses on me, but I like... I don't really like using glasses. I like to see the world in its natural-ness. But you can go just fast enough on this little wheel where the wind can get to you. But anyway, this wheel I feel has made me a much better EUC rider. This might be the steepest, if not one of the five steepest hills in all of Worcester. Check, I don't know if this camera will do it any justice, but it's crazy steep. I see a little bike down there. I wonder if I can catch them. They don't look like they're going that fast. I got eight seconds to cross this, cross this street. Maybe I will catch him. Yeah? Is yeah. that yours? Yeah. Cool. That's a great little bike. What is that? This is an electronic unicycle. Oh. Yeah. That's what you use with it? Uh, no, this is a 360 camera. Oh. Uh, I make videos for YouTube. Oh, you're a YouTuber? Yeah, I just started. <laughs> I'm not I'm not famous. So. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. what I say. But don't worry, I'll block this, I'll block you out. But I like the I like okay. the bike. The bike is really nice. How fast can it go? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, you guys be careful. Get yourself some helmets, just in case, you know? Okay. It does? That's awesome, buddy. What's your name? My name's Primo. It's nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, I'll too. let you go. Very nice bike. You too. From afar, I thought it was like two young teenage guys or something. Once I zoomed up and realized it was a very young kid and a, and a young female, I was like, oh! But hopefully they've got some adults they know who like to ride PEVs. I spend a lot of time on Telegram. I'm in most, I can't say all, I know there's groups I'm probably not a part of, but I'm in most of the uh, PEV, EUC groups. Um, yeah, it's really cool. That's funny, she's like, you a YouTuber? I'm like, yeah, I just started today. I got like 10 subscribers or something like that. Okay, let me cross this street. Beautiful little wheel. Yeah, the M103 has definitely increased my skills. When I first got on it, it was so squirrely. I mean, it was ridiculously squirrely. You have to ride it a lot different than the other wheels. It's a, it's a beast of its own. And I would highly recommend you all. I, I've never ridden an M104. I have no use for it. I got this wheel because basically it is the smallest production EUC you can get. It's smaller than the M104. Um, I don't know if the M104 is as, I don't, I doubt it's as squirrely as this one, but. Yeah, I feel this makes you a much better, much better rider.
anyway, I wanted to introduce y'all to my wonderful little M10-3. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you around.